So, so Zebra is a brand new implementation of the of the Zcash protocol, uh, being built from the from the ground up using using a modern programming language called Rust. Uh, it uh, it performs better than than C plus plus. The the modern architecture means that it's uh, easier to maintain and easier to add new functionality and, and features. And the goal is to provide a solid foundation to support. The next phase of Zcash's development, growth, and adoption. Um, so, so that's that that that's what Zebra is, and you know, um, it's it's been a it's taken longer, I think, than any of us had hoped, but we are reaching the point now where we are less than a month away from our stable release. Um, we we reached that kind of a, I guess a critical mass of functionality, which which, which you can see listed here, that that we decided now is the right time to get an audit done. That audit has found no major issues, which you know I think is a is a massive credit to the to 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 the Zebra team, and um, and yeah, we're we're on track to to hopefully do a to do an actual release in mid June. So, at the time of release, Zebra will you know it, it's it's a piece of Node software. It will join the Zcash network. It will validate the blockchain. It will receive, store, and and rebroadcast uh, new blocks and transactions. Uh, it'll maintain a mempool, including support for the new uh, fee rules and ZIP uh, 317. Um, and then key, you know, that, that that's all kind of fairly standard functionality. It doesn't really provide anything anything for, for end users, but um, the, 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 the pieces of functionality that we think you know, will start being useful to, to potential users are that it provides a, a backend for like wallet D. So uh, teams that offer a Zcash Lite wallet can can use Zebra in place of Zcash D, uh, and also uh, uh, Zebra is capable of generating a block template for miners. So miners currently use Zcash D to generate their block templates, um, which then typically gets gets uh, shoved into some kind of pool software for the actual mining. Can, can also then then use use Zcash. So that's you know what it does what it does today. Um, like I said. You know, we, we we think of this as providing providing a foundation for for building the future of Zcash on, and this is this is the way that, for example, I think of it. And you'll see that there's a lot of there's a lot of blank space here, and there's a, you know there's there's some critical functionality that Zcash D has that we that we don't have. Um, Zcash D is capable of of mining, um, but we have no plans to add direct mining functionality to to Zebra because, in our experience. Um, and based on our research, miners typically use other other types of software that things things like Esnog that um, that that push the block templates to either a pool or hardware miners or what. So so we've no we've no plans to add that. Um, you know the, the use cases that we cater for are people who just want to support and contribute to the Zcash network. Uh, make it more decentralized, uh, make it more performant by, by having more nodes. Uh, as I said, like wallet developers. Um, the big piece of, you know, the, the, the big kind of elephant piece of, uh, of functionality um, is the full node wallet. And that really addresses a sort of enterprise use case or a, or a power user. You know, if you think about exchanges, businesses who might be processing, you know, Zcash payments or whatnot, they need to have you know, Pharaoh, they, 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 they are unlikely to be able to use or rely on a light wallet style style piece of software. So that's one of the one of the key pieces of functionality that that is not there at the moment. And you've know, done a lot of thinking about what that might look like in, in Zcash D. Uh, the full node wallet is very tightly integrated into the node. And what we're potentially thinking about. And this is this is very much um, this is very much kind of hypothetical and, and speculative at the moment, is uh, creating an architecture where the node and the wallet can be entirely separate, and you know that 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 has a number of advantages in terms of you know for security reasons it means that you can have the node you know facing the internet and then you can have the 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 wallet uh, uh, server. Um, you know, better protected, you know, behind firewalls and whatnot. It provides the possibility of, of load balancing. 
Um, it opens up the possibility of decoupling the actual database that you use for storing things like UTXOs and notes and keys and whatnot from the actual node. And that means that, you know, a big enterprise, you know, a big exchange might want to use uh, something like Oracle, whereas, uh, you know, I, there, there might be a default sort of installation that comes with something like RocksDB or, 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 or some, some smaller, you know, free open source uh, piece of software. So that's, um, that's, that, that's one of the, one of the sort of directions that we're, that, that we're considering. And, and, and we plan to, to, you know, ask the, ask the communities input on what we should do next. You know, one of the, one of the possibilities that we've been, that we've been kicking back and forth is the possibility of integrating. So at the moment, Light Wallet D is, is effectively a separate proxy that sits between Light Wallets and the Zcash D node or, or, or the Zebra node. There's no real you know, reason why that functionality couldn't be built into Zebra. Um, and then if we did that, we could, you know, potentially in the future add Tor integration so that people could connect to a Zebra node acting as a light wallet server over Tor. Now there's, there, there, there's a lot of questions there as to whether the Tor network could handle the, 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 the traffic and whatnot, but, you know, there's, there, and, and there's potentially other ways or an iteration or improvement for, for the light wallet protocol that, that we may want to consider doing, you know, late last year, and we, we did a bit of research looking at oblivious message retrieval, see if that might be um, potentially applicable for a sort of next generation of, uh, of light wallet, you know, Zcash light, light wallet protocol um, uh, that didn't necessarily yield the results that we we're kind of hoping for, but, you know, maybe that detection keys or something like that, you know, start, start becoming, start becoming an option for, for a future network upgrade. Um, you know, I've just mentioned the, you know, the external wallet, uh, you know, idea, and we think that, you know, that may be useful for, um, particularly attractive for some of the, of the sort of bigger users. You know, if you think about exchanges who may have hundreds of thousands, maybe, um, of, of addresses who may struggle at the moment, um, with, with Zcashd, we know that sometimes withdrawals and deposits can be suspended from various exchanges. And often that that's because they're having to restart their node and rescan um, the, the, the blockchain from scratch. And then another idea that came up um, is uh, uh, integrating the DNS seeder into, into Zebra and using Zebra's network functionality for that. That's, that's one of the powerful things about Zebra is that because it's built in a modular fashion, you can take pieces of it and, uh, and build, you use it to build other pieces of software. So, um, so yeah, built the, you know, currently there are two DNS seeders. There's the original one, which is based on, on, on the Bitcoin DNS seeder. And, and then there's one um, written in Go that the, that the foundation uh, maintains. And it may make sense to, to, to replace them both with a, with a Rust uh, DNS seeder. Um, and there may be idea, you know, great ideas that we just haven't thought about. That's one of the, one of the, one of the goals of, um, of opening up um, you know, for suggestions from the community of having forums where people can, can you know, put forward their own ideas is we don't necessarily have a monopoly on good ideas. So, um, so those are some of the things that we're, that, that we're thinking, that, 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 that we're kind of thinking about, you know, potentially happening in, in the future. You know, we'll start to potentially build out different bits of functionality um, that, will, that will start to address more of the use cases. And, you know, I, I think originally when when Zebra was conceived, which was before before I joined the, the foundation, the expectation was that there would continue to be two two separate and two different node code bases, um, because there are, there are big advantages for that in terms of you know resilience to to security issues and um, you know Ethereum famously had a had a major issue. A uh, number of years ago, where they were the, the Ethereum blockchain kept running, um, primarily because one of the Ethereum node implementations didn't have the bug that affected the other main main node implementation. So, so in an ideal world, you know, we would have multiple Zcash node implementations to provide diversity, to provide decentralization. Um, now, you know, in the circumstances that we find ourselves right now, uh, with the news coming out of ECC this week. You know, I think we need to we need to take a long hard look at whether it makes sense to maintain 
two node implementations. You know, like I said, in an ideal world, we would get Zebra up to feature parity or you know better than feature parity with with Zcash D. Then Zcash D could be put into maintenance node, and you know maybe ECC would develop would develop a, a next generation um, node, and we'd have this kind of uh, reporting type of uh, leapfrogging approach where we're continually improving and, and adopting the latest technologies and avoiding you know this this kind of uh, heavyweight anchor ball and chain of of technical debt that accrues when you have an old legacy code base it may be that actually what we need to consider doing is um is switching zcash d into maintenance no mode sooner rather than later focusing our efforts on zcash sorry on on on, on zebra as, as the primary node and um and just recognizing that you know when in in these times when resources are constrained and um, we just may need to take it to, 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 to take a different approach. So you know, I'm sure that those are conversations that we'll be we'll be having, for example, at at Zcon, you know, this summer, um, if not before. Um, and I'd encourage the community to, to get involved in those, especially, you know, if you feel that, um, you know, you have the sort of skills and abilities to get involved in contributing to to node development, because again, you know, we can't be relying just on you know, two organizations to to do all of the development for for Zcash. So, I love this architecture slide overlaid with the uh, you know, possible next steps, and just because that felt like a call to action in a way. Just to recap that again, because these are plans for next steps after the next couple of months of um, finishing shipping Zebra. That this is a good time to chime in on. Um, both suggestions on priorities or um, other suggestions for these options of next steps, and also um, to the extent other folks want to stand up and, uh, you know, announce that they're working on a component of these. Uh, that, that's the sort of thing you're encouraging folks to. Yeah, and 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 also, you know, where there are where there are teams who currently rely on Zcash D um, for specific use cases, you know, I'm, I'm imagining things like the free to Z folks, you know, um, you know, we're interested, we're interested in exploring what their pain, pain points are and what they would prioritize in terms of, you know, key, key functionality that we can, that we can, you know, potentially look at, look at prioritizing. Um, you know, are there, you know, at the moment, you know, we support, you know, JSON RPC, um, you know, should we, it would, would it be a major advantage if we were to start providing, you know, start switching over, or pr providing alternative RPC methods that are faster, more performant? Um, so, you know, the, 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 there's a lot of questions that um, or input that that the community and the ecosystem has to offer, um, and we're interested in, in in hearing it all. You know, we're not necessarily gonna gonna knee jerk um, jerk the steering wheel, you know, for for, for every every idea that gets put forward, but certainly having a diversity of ideas and a diversity of thoughts, particularly from people who are actually using it. Um, you know, people who are actually, actually have Zcash D in particular deployed in real use cases where, 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 where they're relying on it. Th those are the people that we're very, very much interested in hearing from. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully that you know, let's set some some um, some context for what the roadmap looks like, in terms of um, getting you know upping the number, you know the, the the adoption of Zebra, getting more nodes in the network. I'm less concerned about the number of nodes than I am about you know the the sort of the the quality of usage. You know, a, a single node run by a run by someone like myself, um, you know, as a as a kind of a Power user or hobbyist at home, you know, um, doesn't carry anywhere near as much weight as a node that's run by a major exchange or uh, or, or, or a mining pool. So, you know, with the with the mining functionality there and the light wallet functionality, we're obviously going to be talking to to, to the light wallet teams, people like people like Nighthawk, um, and with the with the mining functionality, as soon as that as soon as that audit is uh, confirmed, that stable releases is, is is out, we're going to be talking. You know, we've already started talking to some of the miners. Uh, but we're going to be talking to them about about uh, looking at switching, switching, switching across to, to using Zebra, and hopefully getting getting a bit of diversity on the network.